Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So while uh, everyone has been busy grinding their main to tier 3 content, your boy Horcrux has been tirelessly trying out every single class in Lost Ark so you don't have to. So I've tried everything out in PvP, PvE, and admittedly there are some classes that are easier than others and that's the whole point of this tier list we're about to go over. Some of the less technical classes that are still pretty good in PvE and PvP that you don't have to invest a lot of time in learning how to play all the technicalities of the class. Okay, so we're just gonna hop right into it here. So this is Tier Maker, you guys can make your own. I'll leave a link down in the description that these are actually pretty cool. I'm not sure who made this template, but it is badass. So there are some classes that are not in the game yet, um, i.e. there's the Painter or the Arcanist, there's the Destroyer class, there's the Summoner class, which I'm really looking forward to playing, by the way. Um, but uh, we'll kind of go ahead and get into the tier list. Now these are in no particular order, I'm just going to kind of go through these kind of off the top of my head and kind of to give you my guys' opinions on how to perform in PvE, PvP, how technical the class is, and kind of rank that accordingly okay so the very first class we're gonna go over is the bard now in pve this is pretty much essential it's a very easy class to play you just buff and debuff everyone it's 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 not hard okay um but in pvp yeah it's 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 a little tough so the bard is really really good don't get me wrong but when it comes to a technical standpoint you have to be really quick on your reaction times you don't want to overstack your abilities you know you don't want to waste spell on to peeling someone who doesn't necessarily need peel um although she's really good um i definitely would always want one on my team and because of that i'm probably going to put the bard i wish there was like a b plus a minus tier but for the time being we're going to put it in the a because it's really not a hard class to learn the kid's pretty solid and you don't, you don't have to worry about setting up any combos. You're mostly a reactionary class and just protecting your team. Okay, next on the list, we have the Paladin. Now, the Paladin for PvE is definitely S tier, like no doubt about it. It's a pretty easy kit to learn, uh, at least for me. And then when it comes to PvP, it, it's pretty easy to learn as well. You have very solid combos. If you get punished for being out of position, uh, who cares? You're a freaking Paladin. So for all those reasons, I'll go ahead and put this in S tier because it's very forgiving on how you play the class. The burst combos are pretty easy. You put out a lot of damage and then quite frankly, when it comes to PvE, someone's always going to need you. So yeah, this is going to be S tier. Okay, so next we have the Gun Lancer. And PvE is definitely S tier. It's very easy to learn. The kit's very simple. When it comes to PvP, again, it does have a pretty easy kit. Um, you don't do nearly as much damage as the Paladin because it has an incredible amount of burst potential. Your rotations aren't like super flashy, right? Um, but it is pretty easy to play because even if you step out of position, you don't really get punished all too bad because your entire job is to get people to go on you anyway. But when it comes from a technical standpoint, I I just feel the gun lancer is kind of wonky. So we're just going to toss this into the B or A tier. I don't really, really B tier. Okay, so next we have the Berserker. It's pretty easy class to play in PvE because you don't really have to worry about your positioning and you know, getting squished, uh, you do have like some of the lowest defense values in the game, but you have a team for that, and you do a lot of damage, and you spin your blades around, so because of that, I'm definitely going to put this in like an S or A tier when it comes to PvE. Now, PvP on the other hand, oh boy, um, you will get deleted if you're not careful with your rotations when you commit. Um, again, you're a very squishy class, you do put out a lot of damage, and when it comes to the point of this video, which is the mechanics of how to play the Berserker, I'm going to actually put this around a B to A tier, because if you do not play your class very, very efficiently, you're going to get really punished, and the kit, while it can be straightforward, um, there are some niche combos you can kind of watch out for but uh when it comes to tier rankings i'm probably gonna put the berserker between pv and pv probably in a tier because it is quite easy to learn the kit but again in pvp you get punished really easy if you don't know what you're doing okay next we have dead eye or the devil hunter now um this really isn't a meta class whatsoever i did grind one up and play around with it i kind of see why it's not a meta class it doesn't really do a lot of damage from range i mean it's it, it's it's just kind of a subpar class. It, it definitely needs some buffs, but when it comes to its overall kit, um, it's pretty easy and simple to understand. You just sit back like Legolos and do damage. Um, viability in PvE, uh, it's it's okay. Um, there's better range damage dealers such as the Sorceress. And then when you go into PvP, unless you have a really, really good team, 
you're gonna get just trained on this class. Um, maybe I'm just not good on the class yet to kind of know what's up. But when I play arenas, I rarely ever see a dead eye. And then when I do, they just get absolutely shit on. And I mean, the class kit, it is what it is. So I'm probably gonna put this in a C tier. Um, not a big fan of the class, even though it is uh, a pretty high damage class. It just seems kind of slow and wonky. And if you don't have a team for pills, uh, you're kind of screwed. Okay, so next we have the Scrapper M Fighter. Um, it's it's not one of the best martial art classes. Uh, again, the whole point of this tier list is for mechanics wise. So it's very sub tier in PVE. Just want to talk about that. And then PVP, you really have to keep track of your resource pools. And I I don't really like doing that to be honest with you. That's there's a lot of things to keep track of in PVP. You know, positioning. You know, what spells are on cooldown. Um, who is user or dodge roll. And on top of that, you got to maintain all three of your resources and then your damage isn't great. Your combos are a little eh. So for that reason, I'm going to put Scrapper in D tier because quite frankly, I had a really hard time picking this class up and just because I'm not really good with my resource management. Okay, next we have the Gunslinger. Um, it has a lot of spells. It has a lot of weapons you can change from. You know, there's three of them. And for me to, to swap between all these weapons like really quickly when you need them for PvP, it is really, really hard to know what to do just to pick this class up and know what situation you need to use what abilities in. Now, when it comes to PvE, yeah, it's kind of whatever, right? So for that reason, I'm going to put Gunslinger. I'm sure with a little bit of practice, you can do the weapon swaps a lot more efficiently. But for just a new player picking this up, you can get effectiveness out of it. But if you want to perform really, really well in PvP, you do have to kind of know what abilities to use when and you got to be able to swap really, really quickly. So I'm going to put this on a C because it does take quite a bit of practice to hone. Okay, next we have the Sorceress. This is my favorite class. This is what I've chosen to main in Lost Ark. Um, I've played Sorcerers in all MMOs I've ever played. I've played Warlock. You know, I, I always go with a range caster class. So. When it comes to picking up this class, um, it's pretty simple. Um, the, the kit's very straightforward. There's really no combos you gotta worry about. It has like the best AOE coverage in the game. It does insane damage. It's pretty versatile in PvP as well. Again, like you don't really have to worry about too many combos. It, it's pretty easy to just throw your spell down and do a lot of damage in PvE and PvP. So I'm definitely gonna put Sorceress in S tier. Okay, so next we have our tier list and Blaster. Um, his kit is a little weird. Um, it's pretty easy to play because the combos are pretty straightforward. You do massive amounts of damage if you're allowed to just sit there and well away. In PvE, you, you definitely are. Now, when it comes to PvP, um, your combos are pretty easy to set up. You have one main combo uh, to where you get close, lay your missile down into a nuke, into a knockup, and then you can ult on top of that. It, it's pretty straightforward. Um, but you do have uh, your Zed. You actually turn into a turret, which gives you access to even more skills. And then your gauge, you, nothing special happens with your gauge. You just kind of, you know, it, it gives you bursts of damage in 10, 20, and 30% intervals. So it's not a technically super hard class, but in PvP, you kind of have to know how to use your spells as well. Um, so for that reason, instead of putting this in a, an S tier when it comes to PvE or a B tier in PvP, we're just going to round it off and put this uh, in an A tier. It's not hard to learn. It's not. Okay, so next we have the War Dancer or the Battle Master class. In PvE, you don't have to really worry about your dexterity all too much. You don't have to be really quick on your buttons, so to speak, to get uh, the necessary combos off. But when it comes to PvP, you really have to have a fast reaction time for this class because uh, you are a little bit squishy if you con out. Yet kind of screwed if you don't have your team around and you do have to kind of full commit on whoever you go on. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and put the War Dancer in B tier for now. This is very debatable um, just based on your, your PvP. You have to have a lot of awareness in PvP for this class to function. But when it comes to the overall kit, it's not that hard. So picking up to learn PvE, yeah, it's easy in PvP. Eh, not so much. Okay, so next we have the Death Blade. This is everyone's favorite assassin class in PvP. Uh, when it comes to PvE, the combos are pretty straightforward. Again, it's not a mechanically hard class to pick up and learn. PvP is not a hard mechanically class to pick up and learn. You have like one super big death combo, which is really, really easy to set up. It doesn't take a whole lot of brain power to figure out how this class functions. It's really annoying in all aspects of it. I hate one be wanting a Death Blade. I just get absolutely crapped on. Even a really bad Death Blade just shits on my sork and uh it frustrates me it really does um so for these reasons i'm gonna put this in the s tier i've tried with myself for about 10 or 15 hours in arenas and dueling um it's pretty easy to set up the combos it's very forgiving you just gotta kind of kind of round wait for 
your big death combo to come up and you're good to go. Okay, next of the assassin class, we have a shadow hunter or a demonic, you want to call it. And PvE is it's pretty okay. Again, it's kind of similar to the death blade. The uh, the class gets pretty easy to understand. And um, while you don't really do as much damage, I feel um, in PvE, in PvP, eh, I definitely think death blade is much much more viable. But again, this tier list is about how easy it is to pick up and learn the class. It's not hard, so we're gonna put this in A tier. Okay, so next we have Sharpshooter. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The Gunslinger is just butter, in my opinion. A Sharpshooter is easy to pick up, right? Um, but when it comes to like viability and PvE and PvP, uh, PvP, it's pretty tough for you to get off your combos, not going to lie. And then when you go into PvE, you're just outperformed by other kind of ranged damage classes. But the kit is pretty easy to learn. Um, while it may not be the best, it's definitely not the hardest class to learn. So we're going to put this in A tier for now. Okay, so next we have the Striker, and the reason I really like this Striker is because your buffs are pretty easy to maintain and keep up. Um, you don't have a lot of versatility when it comes to kind of what you can do with a class, but you don't necessarily have to rely on reaction time either. So when it comes to grading this on how easy it is to pick up, I really think Striker is an A tier or even an S tier class, but for the time being we're going to kind of toss this in the A tier. So the next class we have is Soul Fist or Soul Master. Uh, you do have a lot of combos you can pull off with this class. You have close range and also long range abilities. You don't necessarily have to know what situations to use them in in PvE because it's very, very forgiving. But the whole energy bar gauge and keeping track of your quote unquote hype is kind of annoying if you don't know what you're doing, especially to a newer player. And you don't really have a lot of versatility in PvP other than uh, a couple gap closers and uh, kiting tools. You can get punished pretty easy. Your combo, I want to say predictable, but it can be interrupted pretty easily because you don't have access to a lot of super armors. But again, this this isn't a meta build, build guide. This is looking at the classes and ranking them how easy they are to play. And I do think the Soul Fist requires a, a little bit of understanding of the class and how the combos work in your hype meter, for example. So we're going to put that in B tier. Okay, that does it for the video, guys. So when it comes to the S, A, and B tier, I kind of feel like all these classes are about the same when it comes to difficulty. Me, personally, C and D tier, I really, really struggled with. This may not be the same for you all. You know, to each their own. Different strokes for different folks, right? The classes down here at the bottom, the Reaper, Scout, Arcana, Summoner, Lance, Master, Destroyer, are not yet in the West, but they will be. And we will be covering those as well. We'll be doing a little bunch of build gods, which I've already done here on the channel. Feel free to check those out at any time. Uh, but before I go, a huge shout out to my patrons and also my community members who help keep this channel afloat. And if you guys are interested in joining, helping me out, then the description has links to everything that you guys need to know to get started. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.